there, Whippersnappers, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown OU Battles. As always, I'm your host, Tortimer the Grey. Uh, this is a new team I threw together, and uh, this first battle is not super pretty, but it was a very close battle. Um, and so I wanted to, to show you guys, because, you know, when you're building teams, uh, I've had some people ask me in the comments below, um, things like, do you ever lose, and, and things like that, because I, I don't really show a lot of that. I mean, I definitely have given you guys several battles where I've lost, um, but, uh, you know, try not to do that, you know, just because there's a plenty of battles where you win, so there's no reason to, to show losses and stuff when, when you update. Uh, so, um, but I wanted to show you guys, especially as you're building a team, and this is a relatively new team for me, uh, you know, there's there's always kinks to work out, and things don't always go exactly as you plan. You've got to, really the key to competitive battling is just practice. Um, I mean, uh, talking to my friend, uh, the Espresso Cat, he recently got into competitive battling a little while ago, and, um, you know, was asking me for tips and tricks, and it's like, well, I, I didn't really have anything to give him because... It really is just practice. Get some Pokemon, play around with them, see what works, see what doesn't, learn what you're up against, and things like that. So, um, that's kind of what you see here in this battle. Uh, I have some really cool Pokemon on this team, and the team's coming together nicely, I think. Um, but, you know, a lot of bad plays, a lot of plays where we just didn't really have something we could do there. Uh, and so those are things we'll tweak and we'll play around with. Um, Shredder comes in, and he sets up the Protect, and he's going to get the Speed Boost going. Um, and Gyarados is going to continue to do his boosts, but we're still going to be faster, so we're going to be able to get off the Poison Jab and finish him off. Um, and then they bring in their Snorlax. This was a very interesting Snorlax, actually. So I go for the Earthquake. This thing's got Counter on it, which is cool. Makes sense. Snorlax is super bulky, so if you do good damage to him, he's probably still going to survive it. Um, and he'll be able to kill you. But he doesn't seem to have Rest, which is interesting. Um, Kraken's able to come in, and he's able to set up with all of his stuff. He's got Gunk Shot, which is weird. I don't know. I was expecting the rest there. Usually Snorlax does that to kind of stall things around and, and stick around longer. But uh, uh, Kraken's able to set up his Dragon Dances, and he's able to take out the Snorlax with a good Waterfall. Uh, able to take out the Sceptile with a good Waterfall. We got lucky to get the Flinch there on the Sceptile. Um, I Mega Evolve at this point because I'm thinking we'll probably be getting a Psychic-type attack from this guy. Uh, but he goes for the Energy Ball, which is fine. Um probably would have been better to stay flying at that point but you know you never really know what to expect um and then he's able to get a good waterfall off uh with the sleep talk and uh and kill the alakazam so yeah uh, let's jump into a battle that maybe is a little more attractive than this one shall we all right all right guys here we go this is a much better battle on my end um and this was this was a great battle this battle went 40 turns it was a crazy long battle for for the ones that I usually do. Um, but we both kind of knew what we were doing and it, it worked out really well. So they brought in Deoxys um, Defense. Uh, I brought in uh, Godzilla to set up the Stealth Rocks. And then I brought Kraken in um, to go ahead. Uh, I Mega Evolved in case this thing um, had, because it was storing up Cosmic Powers. And uh, one move set I looked at for Clefable was a Cosmic Power set where it would use up Cosmic Powers and then use a, a move called Stored Power, which it gains power based on the number of stat boosts you have or whatever. Um, and so I thought maybe that's what they were doing, so I was going to switch into Kraken because his Mega is Dark-type, um, and thinking if and that it's a Psychic-type move Stored Power is, so if they were going to use that, then it would be ineffective against Kraken. Um, we have the most hilarious stall war here. Um, Deoxys just keeps using Cosmic Powers to boost defense. I keep using Dragon Dance plus Rests and Sleep Talk and things to boost uh, attack and speed. Uh, and we do this for uh, a long, long time. It's really kind of funny. Um, he gets sick of it before I do. Um, but because uh, so, he keeps getting the toxic up and I keep going down and when I don't feel comfortable being down he can't really do any actual damage to me he's only got fire punch on this guy uh, and there was one other move he's got uh, I don't remember what it was he'll, he'll use it here at some point I'm sure um, but neither of them were really doing any damage at all um, and so his toxic was his best cho chance um, and as soon as the toxic would get down in a range or I'd get worried about it like here uh, I would rest on the next turn, and since I have four times speed, obviously I get to go first. And so uh, it was just—it was going to be a never-ending cycle here. I think we took almost the 
time, amount of time it would normally take us to do a normal battle, uh, just for that little stall out war. Um, but he got sick of it, switching to Quagsire, which ended up being a sacrifice play because Quagsire went down. Uh, I think he was hoping that uh, the water typing would save him, but it did not uh, at four times attack. Um, at that point, I decided to just switch out. Uh, Kraken can't take another mock punch, um, and his speed wasn't going to help him at all against priority, so I switched out. Brought in Shredder uh, and threw up the Protect so that I could get some speed boost going and just kind of figure out what that uh, guy might be trying to use. Um, they bring in their Talon Flame and I get the Poison Jab off, which is awesome. Um, they get down real low and then I'm going to use the Protect and they're going to go for the Roost. Um, so I probably could have finished it there. I'm not really sure if Roost is pulled into the priority thing with Gale Wings or not, but. Um, that's okay, I decided to switch into Godzilla. Don't really want to sacrifice Shredder at this point. I know Godzilla can take whatever talent play might have. Um, and so, and in a second here, when he actually lands his attack, um, he'll be able to take out talent play, no problem. Um, so that works out very nicely. They then bring in Sableye. Um, I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge here, but the Confused Ray is gonna hit me. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's a glitch or just how things seem to work. Every time he confused me in this battle, I only hit myself every turn until the confusion ended. Like, there was no fighting through it at all. It was every single time. And, and he confused me a handful of times here. So, um, that was kind of frustrating for sure. Um, more annoying than anything, though, especially here with Navi. Uh, she's got the leftovers on uh, and such good defense that uh, she. Any damage she would take from hurting herself, she would heal immediately back. And uh, she has a uh, wonder or magic magic guard, so toxic doesn't do anything to her, which is good. She got some good damage off on the Alakazam when he first came in, um, and then was able to the confusion ended and was able to hit the Alakazam again before he did any more damage. Um, I switched Natty out then. At this point, bring in Iris, um, expecting Iris to take anything the Breloom can go in. So in this battle, I really didn't um, I didn't sacrifice any Pokemon. A lot, and a lot of times in my battles, I'll be like, well, this Pokemon can't really do anything, but um, I'm going to leave him in and, and see what they can do. This one, um, I didn't do that, and it actually worked out really well for us. Sometimes I have to do that because I don't have anything really better to switch anyone in on. Whereas this battle, like, I kind of did, especially with this guy's team, I really had Pokemon that could pretty safely switch in on what they had. So um, that was cool. Um, and so Shredder's going to come, and he's going to get the Protect up. Uh, go for the speed boost again here, uh, protect himself against the Confuse Ray. He does get hit here with it, um, hits himself in Confusion, uh, of course, um, and then is going to force out the Sableye. They're going to bring their Doxus defense, uh, and I'm going to get the Mega Horn off and kill the Deoxys. Um, and then at this point, uh, they're going to forfeit. Um, but it was a long, long battle, and it was a good battle. Uh, I don't know why they forfeited. It was really disappointing because we were having a good battle here. Um, it wasn't like I was... I mean, I was dominating them. I mean, I, I didn't lose a single Pokemon, as you'll see um, over there. But it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was because, like, I was just OP. We were just... We were having a good back and forth, and I just happened to be coming out on top there with my switches and things. Um, so it was a really good battle. I wanted to show it to you guys, especially since it took forever to do. Um, and I was really disappointed they left because it was it was a great battle and I wish I could have gotten it in its entirety in for legitness, but um, You know, whatever um, That's his loss. I guess uh, not ours We got to see see the majority of the battle and it would have been mainly ownage from that point on um, Because I had things that could easily take out their Breloom and their Sableye um, with a Little bit of stalling shenanigans maybe on their end, but it wouldn't have taken too long so uh, definitely would have been a win, and I'm, I'm excited. You know, after the last one, it was a very ugly win. Uh, we were down to our last guy, um, and it really came down to a flinch that really kept us alive to be able to win. Um, and uh, in this one, we had some good moves, good switching. Uh, yeah, everybody did very well, and uh, we we dominated. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Tormer the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes. Uh, and votes for what you'd like to see in your bonus video if you get there. And uh, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe. I, uh, I really appreciate when people do that. It keeps you up to date with what's going on on the channel and uh, makes me feel good to see my sub count rising. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, I've been Torm of the Green. You guys have been great. Have a good one.